Consider these two columns of numbers and their perfect squares. Do you notice any difference between these two columns? Look carefully and discuss it with your friends. The column on the right lists odd numbers and their perfect squares. Recall that odd numbers are numbers that are not divisible by 2. The column on the left lists even numbers and their perfect squares. Even numbers are numbers that are divisible by 2. Each even number in the left column has an even perfect square, while each odd number in the right column has an odd perfect square. The same is true of all numbers. So, we can say that the squares of all even numbers are even and the squares of all odd numbers are odd. Observe that the only thing common between these two columns is that the square of each number is either equal to or greater than the number itself. But can we conclude that the square of a number is always greater than the number itself? What about fractions and decimals? Let us first look at fractions. Recall that fractions are of two types, proper and improper fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. While a fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. Consider the improper fraction 3 over 2, which can be represented visually like this. The perfect square of this fraction can be calculated by squaring the numerator and the denominator, which will give us the fraction 9 over 4. We can show 9 over 4 visually like this. Which of these fractions is the larger one? We can see that 9 over 4 is greater than 3 over 2. In fact, the square of an improper fraction is always greater than the improper fraction itself. But what about proper fractions? Let's look at the proper fraction 2 over 3, which is represented by this figure. The square of 2 over 3 is equal to 4 over 9, which is represented by this figure. Surprisingly, the square 4 over 9 is less than the original fraction 2 over 3. What does this mean for proper fractions? Despite what we may think, the square of a proper fraction is always less than the proper fraction itself. For example, if you square half a slice of bread, you will be left with only a quarter of a slice. We can extend this property to decimals as well. Let us consider the same example as before. Half a slice of bread is equal to 0.5 of a slice of bread in decimal form. The square of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. This is consistent with our previous result in which we showed that the square of half a slice of bread is less than half a slice of bread. In fact, all decimals that are less than 1 have a square that is less than the decimal itself. 0 0.4 square is equal to 0 0.16, which is less than 0 0.4. The square of 0 0.9 is 0 0.81, which is again less than 0 0.9. Now, take a minute to study these statements. Which of these statements are correct and which are incorrect? Let us review. Recall that the square of an even number is always even, while the square of an odd number is always odd. 16 is an even number since it is divisible by 2. So the square of 16 is an even number. Therefore, this statement is incorrect. The numerator 3 is less than the denominator 5. Therefore, this is a proper fraction. As we've learned in this video, the square of a proper fraction is always less than the proper fraction itself. Therefore, this statement is correct. The square of a decimal that is less than 1 is always less than the decimal itself. Since 0 0.999 is less than 1, its square will be less than the decimal itself. So this statement is incorrect.
To summarize, the square of an even number is an even number, while the square of an odd number is always an odd number. The square of a proper fraction is always less than the proper fraction itself. The square of a decimal less than 1 is always less than the decimal itself.